If you wanna grow your YouTube channel, you have to niche down. And you've probably heard that advice if you've watched any YouTube growth videos. You need to have a niche so your audience knows what your channel is all about. Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't necessarily need to have a niche in order to grow because here are 17 channel ideas for those of you who want to do everything on your YouTube channel. Let's get into it. Now, before we get started, I do want to caution you that it is going to be a little bit more difficult. It is going to be more challenging. And unless you have the most dynamic personality in the world or you're always at level 10 of insanity, it's going to be harder to grow your YouTube channel. I'm not saying it can't be done, but just realize that it might take a little bit longer to get the things off the ground. So with that said, let's get into the list. So the first channel idea could be product reviews. Did you know the average American household has 300,000 items in their house? 300,000 items. You can never say that you don't know what products to review or I don't have any money to buy new products because you could literally look around your house and see, here are some Beats headphones. I'm gonna do a product review one week. Here is a red magic marker by Bic, Bic Intensity Low Odor Dry Erase Marker. The next week, I'm gonna do a product review about this. And the next week, I'm gonna do a Canon camera review of this little remote. I have items laying all around my house that you could do item reviews on. And yes, you can put affiliate links in there. So links in the description box below because when I sell enough of these Canon remotes, I'm gonna buy a new product to review. You seemingly have an unlimited amount of items well, 300,000 items in your house that you can start building content around. Now, if you're the opposite of the average American and have less than 300,000 things in your house that bring you a lot of joy, maybe the minimalism channel is the right thing for you. If you find yourself wearing the same t-shirts and using the same fork every night, maybe building a whole channel around the lifestyle of minimalism and that can go beyond just things. It can be min minimalistic ideas, minimalistic friends, minimalistic you get where I'm going with it, minimalism. So next up is tutorials. Now tutorials, if you know something, if you have a skill, a certain set of skills, or if you just learn something, you can create an entire channel based on tutorials. For me, it'd be, you know, average white 30 year old teaches you how to install Spotify on your cell phone or how to film and grow a YouTube channel. Hey, I'm, I'm Ryan. I help you guys grow your YouTube channels. Uh, subscribe if you're interested in that. But what I'm saying is you can teach anything. If you know something, or if you're just now learning something, you can record a video and teach it. And that can be your whole channel based on you teaching things. Next channel idea going off of that is the hacks channel. And in this channel, you just teach people hacks about life. Did you know when you replace the guitar pickups, of a hollow body guitar, you can use fishing wire to make sure that you can get those pots back in the right spot. That's a hack. It's a hack that I know. But you can be a hack about anything. If you know hacks about how to tie your shoes faster, you can make a hack video about tying your shoes faster one week. And if you know hacks to make your dog listen to you better and not jump on people, you can make a hack video about that the following week. Next up is the do it yourself or the DIY channel. If you're handy or crafty or program me. If you know how to do stuff at home on a budget to make things that probably would be more expensive or spend more time or energy or effort doing it, do it yourself channel. How to fix your car radio by yourself. How to 3D print Star Wars fighter helmet. I know how to do a few things, but if you're really crafty and you know how to do stuff or a lot of stuff, maybe a do-it-yourself channel is perfect for you. Next up is the ultimate, I wanna do whatever I wanna do and I wanna make videos around, basically me. And that is the vlog channel. Now, Casey Neistat burned down the entire internet and changed YouTube forever when he started the daily vlogs. Creators love making them because they're literally documenting their life. If you wanna have a very broad topic, do anything and everything you wanna do, that's your channel. Your channel is your life. Next up is making an entire channel around pop culture. Now, sure, pop culture kind of is a niche, right? But if it's everything, I mean, it could be anything from Nancy Pelosi on the political spectrum to Nicki Minaj on the other spectrum. Maybe they're a little bit closer in the spectrum than maybe Ted Nugent. If you want to make a celebrity pop culture, maybe you're talking about the latest Netflix series, you're talking about Stranger Things season four finale. 
Fantastic, by the way. One month, and then the next month you're talking about the Supreme Court. A little bit of politics, right? But pop culture, anything that's in the realm of what's popular and cultural, yes, it's kind of a little bit more focused, but it really could be anything and everything, right? One moment you can be talking about Metallica. Okay, now we're starting to sound a little bit like a Stranger Things channel. But my point is that you can talk about anything as long as it's relevant to pop culture. I don't know. If you think I'm off base there, let me know in the comment section below. All right, next up is the lifestyle channel. And the lifestyle channel really can be anything. If you wanted to do personal finance one week and then do your yoga routine the next week, I mean, both are positively enhancing your life and have to do with lifestyle. So maybe that's channel mindset for you. Maybe mindset channels, being a better person, self-help. Those kind of channels are also really good channels as well. One week you're talking about how to deal with a breakup from your high school ex, to the next week you're talking about, you know, how to stay motivated when you're trying to build a YouTube channel. Motivational lifestyle self-help <laughs> channels. Maybe three different channels right there. Maybe two. Two different channels right there, but great channel ideas. You can talk in any direction. The next up channel idea is the video podcast. Now, video podcast is more of a format. You know, you're sitting here talking with a microphone and you're talking about a certain topic, but if your whole channel is just video podcast, you can literally talk about whatever you want. Your channel idea is literally just you talking in front of a microphone and a camera. It's a video podcast. And like I mentioned, a lot of these channel ideas are going to be self-reliant on search functionality and your personality. Next up is the hauls type of video. Now hauls kind of videos are very popular right now. You go to the store and you're talking about what you bought and you're showing off your merch. Like if you are a boutique store fashion channel, you're talking about the hauls that you got from market maybe. And yes, we're thinking broadly here, but if you just want to have a whole channel dedicated on your shopping sprees, there's a channel idea for you. Next up is the interview and it can be kind of like, you know, the video podcast, but maybe you're more specifically in interviewing people either sitting down with a microphone and, you know, in a video, or you're going around the streets and interviewing people on whatever you want to talk about. It's kind of like Jimmy Kimmel where he goes around the street saying, Hey, uh, who's your favorite band at Lollapalooza? And then makes up like, you know, five options. And people are like, oh yeah, I really like cell phone lion rings. Their, their, their music is just so original and they're completely made up. Or, you know, you could interview people at the dog park. Hey, you know, what's your favorite breed of dog? And it's like, well, I know you love golden retrievers, but that ma'am right there is a shit zoo. Little shit zoo. How do you feel about not being your mom's favorite animal? I don't know. I'm making this up on the spot while I'm looking at my puppy. But if you just want to go around interviewing people, whether it's inside, outside, in crowded places, or bring them into your home or your recording studio and make your entire video channel around interviewing, I think that would be a pretty cool idea. Definitely get some crazy situations or stories. Next up is the challenge idea. And it's kind of like the Mr. Beast or Ryan Trahan kind of style of video, but essentially you're creating your own challenges and you're documenting yourself or somebody else who are doing the challenges and you're documenting it and you're making a video out of it. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, they have to be entertaining and it has to be fun in order for people to watch it. But you can build your whole channel around the idea of challenges and make up whatever kind of challenge you want. Next up is reaction videos. Now, reaction videos are very popular. They're very popular within niches as well, right? So like musician reacts to the latest Guns N' Roses album or guitarist reacts to this like 13 year old guitar player who's just playing the most impossible solo ever, right? You've seen those kind of challenges. You can make an entire channel around reactions and maybe one week you're reacting to that 13 year old shredder or next week you're reacting to the president of the United States, or you're reacting to why gas prices are so high, or you're reacting to the latest camera model that came out from Canon. I don't know, but your whole channel could be around reacting to whatever you find interesting that week. And that's your channel reaction types. The next up is the media review channel and similar to the product review channel, but you're reacting to media. So like the upcoming, France Grand Prix this weekend. Maybe I'm going to react to that race one week. And then next week, I'm going to react to the new Minions movie. It can be even an audiobook. Like, I'm going to react to the latest Matthew McConaughey Greenlights audiobook or react to a podcast. Next up is the before and after type channel. And this could literally be anything. I did 30 days worth of push ups after I did 30 days worth of push-ups, and that's the entire video for one week. 30 days of dog training, and I keep on going back to Paisley 
sitting right there in the corner. It can be a before and after of anything and anything in your life. And maybe that's an important part of this kind of content is you're literally building your channel around your life using these kind of parameters or channel ideas to help you shape what you want to talk about. Next up, we have the ASMR channel, and this is a little bit more niche, but you can literally make it into anything. I listen to a few ASMR artists at night when I'm trying to fall asleep, and I found a lot of the most entertaining ones build up stories and implement other things into their life, whether it's hauls or it's storytelling or it's, you know, cosplay or whatever have you. But you can have an ASMR channel around anything. Sure, you have to have really good audio quality and you you need to be good at ASMR, but you can literally do it around anything you want. You can be ASMR at the car show. You might have to do a voiceover there, but you get my point. You can do whatever you want with that kind of channel. And these channels are great, but if you don't grow your channel, you're going to get really frustrated, which is why you're going to want to watch this video here that goes over all the YouTube basic analytics to help you grow your channel. And I'll see you over there.